Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I'm going to give you the latest tropical update on what's going on with this chance for something to form up. I'm showing the odds are getting better and better now. Matter of fact, it's trending between the Euro and the GFS that the wind shear is going to go away after we go into this next pattern, and it's going to be a deeper pattern, a higher ridge. This is a growing event with all this convection going around. So I'm going to show you all the latest information. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click the bell so you get all the updates. Always try and go as early as I can to give people updates on this tropical waves as they come through. Because a lot of people need more than just a week to save up and prepare for these storms. Now this morning you can see we do have some storms going through Central America. All this blue is convection. This is a lot of growing in the thunderstorms. You see we got some over here by the Caribbean also and going over here by the Bahamas. Plus we have a couple of waves still moving through the MDR, the main development region. And you see a nice strong wave coming off the coast of Africa. Africa. So it is starting to ramp up. Now we have some updates for today. Not only potential velocity anomaly, our lift in the atmosphere, also what's going on are our PNA, Pacific North American pattern. You should be going from that positive towards a deep negative. This will put a higher trough going towards the east coast when we get a high pressure building. This is going to be about timing once again, but this is a deepening getting stronger on this next weather pattern we're about to go into. This will stop the wind shear and allow things to grow. You can also see with the GFS that it is in agreement that we are going into that negative. The Euro, matter of fact, is the one that's taking it deeper and stronger. But like I said, this is going to be about timing. So as I show you this pattern coming through, don't worry about this system over here in the southwest. This is just a Rex block. This is making everything go up and over on the jet stream before it even comes towards the west coast. You're not getting anything. This is an upper level low. I just want to give you a quick update. I've seen people ask. That's still doing the same thing I've been posting for a long time. Now, you can see we do get around the 12th or 13th. We get that little trough coming through. You can see this over the southeast. Also pulls this moisture to the north. That's also what this trough would do is help pull it to the north while it goes around this high pressure and swings things about. Also, you can also see as we go forward that more than likely it could be a quick spin up, something very weak if it does. I don't think it's going to happen still. I think it's still going to be a group of disorganized thunderstorms in the very beginning of the teens, just bringing heavy rainfall. But after that pushes out, after you get this high pressure, this high pressure is going to be moving. It's up level high over here, revolving everything around. This is going to be moving over when we go into this next pattern. And we're going to grow a high pressure that's going to be building over here on the eastern side of the lower 48. And that's because we're going into that high ridge. We're going to that negative PNA pattern. At the same time, this will allow for anything to come right into the gulf and start forming up. Now, the trend has been a western push, and the reason why everything is a western push is because it's high pressure. Once again, this is about timing. This high pressure is growing, getting bigger, and getting bigger, and the longer we wait, the more it's just going to push this wave to the west. If it comes earlier, it's going to catch one of these smaller sizes of this upper level high growing and it will push it into the gulf it's all about timing on this next pattern as we go through and still showing formation i'm trying to keep this as short as possible just keep it updates just so you know what the latest information is you know i will be back on sunday after sabbath and i will update you you can see with the euro trending that we're going to get a surface low building up in the western gulf of mexico you can see this with the canadian it's also agreeing that it will be towards the western side of the gulf of mexico gfs is still taking it to where it could be a weak system in the front but the whole area is under convection a lot of lift and it could also be down here by the yucatan and maybe eventually going into the gulf maybe right across the east coast and still have potential chances for the one two punch but look at all this favorable environment we're going into right as this is happening matter of fact the latest trend on the information on our favorable environment is a big glob of favorable environment right when we get to this moment but you know me i like to prove what i'm saying with the data here you go with the gfs and here's that bowing out feature that you have as it's pushing towards the west trying to push it out of the gulf but right around the 15th through the 20th it's been trending the 16th through the 19th we need to watch as we go through this transition a big glob of favorable environment a lot of lift 
right in our area. And if you take a look, you can see on the latest update with the euro, you've seen the exact same thing with the same big strong glob coming right to our region. Also another update, after we deal with all this convection, as we go by all the way to the 20th, there's the long range, this is why it looks a little bit different. You see that high pressure is gonna bring a little bit of unfavorable environment as we go towards the end of June, but showing new information. As we go into the beginning of July, this could happen again. Then maybe another other high pressure or some dust unfavorable environment after that so we do have new information showing that it's going to stay active after this we have a little period of unfavorable environment and then it's going to go right back active again now the latest information on our chance for a tropical cyclone strike a possible tropical storm i don't think we will be getting a hurricane i think if anything it will be a tropical depression or a tropical storm we see how it's starting to favor a little more into the bay of campeche as we go into the 17th still favoring the eastern pacific now remember this is central american gyre it could easily form up in the eastern pacific many times it's done this and go straight north it pulls it right into the gulf after that we start becoming more favorable into the gulf of mexico into the western gulf of mexico also another wave moving through central america and maybe a front induced low still forming right off the east coast but you see how much more to the north that trough will be now, that's all the way to the 24th then after that maybe going even more to the west in the gulf of mexico the eastern pacific or central america something can form up all the way to the beginning of july now you can see this on the latest information with the euro showing that it does favor as you go towards the 15th and 16th starts pushing a little bit further towards the gulf of mexico usually when we get this transition we get this big trough that's going to be coming in and then that high ridge like this. And remember, this is where your high pressure is going to be. And it's going to start growing bigger and bigger. So if it don't happen, it will get blocked. So it does have a very short time. But at the same time, you can see where it's starting to pull to that north as we get this next pattern flip. And you can see this on the latest information. As we go seven days, it starts pulling a little bit more into the Bay of Campeche. It starts growing around the southeast of the United States, lower 48. And as you keep going, you can see it grows even stronger over here on the southeast for something to form up. And as you go towards nine and 10 days, then it starts pushing right into that Gulf of Mexico and it strengthens the possibility on the western side. Showing that in five days, we could get a surface low building up a front induced. It would not be tropical off the East Coast. This would be pushing over. Something weak may be forming into the Bay of Campeche. But you can shortly see that after that first piece moves, probably just bringing a lot of heavy precipitation. After you go to the 13th and on, once you go seven days, then it starts giving that chance for other stronger anomalies to form headed north and headed west into the Gulf of Mexico. Showing on the latest ensembles as we go through from seven days. This is right at seven days. You can see a lot of them showing maybe something weak could be forming up. And after that, start strengthening up. Maybe a last minute strengthen. This is why I'm trying to tell you. If this strengthens up at the last minute and it don't become an area to watch by National Hurricane Center, it will not get people's attention. And this will become a big problem where they can't save up to get materials if it does form anything because the waters are very hot, everybody. Now, the good news, the only good news so far is the control member. Right here, your more than likely outcome showing maybe if this does happen, it will be something weak. That would be just a group of disorganized thunderstorms and no formation actually happening. Now, this will change as we get closer to the event. This is all about timing. Because you can see here when you look at the Euro on the ensemble members, the route when you go seven days, it starts growing its chances for something to form up right in the Gulf of Mexico and going right to the western side of the Gulf of Mexico. You can also see that we still have a lot of this above average wind shear, the below average wind shear. Remember, this is getting pushed into the Bay of Campeche. But shortly after seven days, right when we go in this transition, there we go. Now we get favorable environment moving in. Now we get that trough building in with that high ridge and we become less wind shear very much below average wind shear kicking in that gives chance for something to form up in the northern and the western side of the gulf of mexico as we go through this transition 
This is the latest from the Euro. And you can see this here. So as you go in the beginning, you still got that above average shear moving on that first tropical wave, keeping it weak, a group of disorganized thunderstorms, while your below average wind shear is right here in the Bay of Campeche. While you got, got this upper level low, this <laughs> swinging around. After this, we go into our transition to where the shear goes away. No wind shear, if any. And things will grow rather quickly around that time. And you can see it trends. You can see right here with GEFS, right at seven days, showing the same area, showing a little bit stronger towards the eastern side of the Gulf of Mexico. So it is all about placement, how much this high pressure is going to stretch out before this tropical wave, all this convection moves by. And showing the same thing as the Euro. Above average wind shear, still got that below average kicking into the southern half of the Bay of Campeche and showing that it will stretch out and below average wind shear will be over the north and western side of the Gulf of Mexico. Showing that all that wind shear will give away, just like the Euro showing it is trending. The wind shear is going to leave and something is going to form in that time. Now the latest on the sea surface temperatures show that we have a lot of very warm temperatures. Anywhere from 85 to 90 kicking in there. Even up here on the northern side of the Gulf of Mexico, all you need is 80 to sustain a tropical system. And this right here is already pushing 82 or above. So there's no cool waters going on. Matter of fact, you see everything is above average. You only got a little bit right here that's barely above average, but still everything's above average. We have August temperatures right now in June. Thank you for your time, everybody. That has been the latest update. I just want to keep it short, quick, and simple. Let you know what the latest information is. If you like this information, please share this to others. Let them get time to maybe prepare for something. Worst case scenario, maybe some flooding coming on. I don't think it will form up in anything, but we still can't rule anything out. This is the Gulf of Mexico that we're talking about. Matter of fact, so I will keep you updated. Make sure you click the bell. Thank you to everyone that helps share this information. Thank you to everyone that hits the like button on this video and helps other people see this information. Let them make the decision for themselves. Thank you again. Now, before you go into your weekend, Philippians 2, 1 through 5. If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind. Let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hope you all have a great day, everybody. It is the beginning of, well, summer break for a lot of people, definitely for us over here. Hope you have a very blessed day. Thank you for your time. And remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe, you, your family, your neighbors, your enemies, anyone that you know in touch and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. I'll see you again on Sunday morning.